So I want to start this video off by saying I have nothing but love and respect for Scott John. I've been watching him for nearly a decade and I've been subbed to him on his Twitch for like three years. But as far as MMR goes and his stance on it, I completely disagree. It's going to make the high, high MMR players just have a miserable time. None of these sweat swads want to only go against spirit. I don't only want to go against sweat swads. And that is what it's going to kind of boil down to uh, eventually, if their system works perfectly. Luckily, I don't think it's going to work perfectly. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time I checked his stance on MMR is that MMR is a bad idea because at the highest ranks of play, it's going to be just nothing but extremely sweaty people playing the game in the most unfun way possible. Because it'll just be people running four survivors that are on comms running meta builds, and it'll just be Nurse and Spirit every single game, and it's just going to be this terrible experience at the highest level of MMR. And he might be right about that. At the 0.1%, it might be peak level of play, it might not be an enjoyable experience, but, but here's the thing. If you don't want to deal with that, then don't sweat as hard as you can every single game to get a 4K. Don't sweat as hard as you can to loop the killer for 10 minutes every single game. Don't run the best add-ons and perks every single game. Play in a way that, you know, is just more laid back and you will go against more laid back players. And then if you want to sweat, then you'll go against sweatier players. And I think that's good. Now, when I say a player's sweaty real quick, I just wanted to say, I don't mean that's a bad thing. It's totally okay to sweat in video games. I do it all the time. Regardless, let me give you an example of what I mean. Scott Jund is currently on a Demogorgon kick. He plays a lot of Demogorgon, and he uses the same two add-ons, two of Demogorgon's best add-ons, every single game. It's the add-ons that make him recover quicker after hitting an uh, enemy with his shred, and they make him recover quicker after breaking a pallet with his shred. And he runs these two add-ons every single game. It's to the point where people have said, hey, have you tried Demogorgon's other add-ons? And then Scott has literally said, no, there's no point. So I'm a Demogorgon main and I get it. Those add-ons feel great to use. But if you're someone who's only going to run these two add-ons because they're arguably some of his best add-ons and there's no point in running anything else, then why should you be playing against people that have like 300 hours in the game? You know, Joe Smo, who's just figuring out how to loop corners more tightly. And then you're coming in like only running Rune Undying, only running these two really strong add-ons, you know, just playing as hard as you can to win. And then if, you know, three or four generators pop, you'll, you'll four-man slug if you have to to get that 4K. I don't think you guys should be playing with each other. I don't think you should have games like that where Mr. 5K Hours, who tries hard, goes against, you know, people that aren't trying as hard. And I understand it too. I mean, like, if I had to get to the highest MMR and play only Nurse's Spirit, it'd make me want to uninstall the game. And telling people, hey, just play differently isn't the best answer. But I feel like there's a third solution that no one has thought of yet. I think the best way that we can make MMR fun for everyone is we add MMR into the game, and then after a month of studying it, we look at the stats at the highest level of MMR, and then we change the game to be more fun at the highest level of play. For example, let's say they got the stats back from MMR and they said, oh, 70% of high level MMR games end with at least three people being slugged for like two minutes because slugging is probably the most OP thing you could do as killer. Well, okay, maybe they'll add a extremely nerfed version of Unbreakable base kit into the game. Like maybe you'll recover 95% of your bar like normal and then you'll start recovering a second bar. And then when the second bar is done, you stand up. And you can recover the second bar like X amount of times before you bleed out and die. That seems reasonable. Maybe they can look at the stats and go, okay, three generators pop within two minutes of every single game at high MMR. Well, okay, maybe make it to where generators pop slower when the game starts. And then as the game goes on, generators can be done faster and faster and faster. So by the time it's the game's been going for 15 minutes, you can get gens done pretty quickly. Maybe that's something, right? I'm not even saying that these ideas should be added into the game, but I'm saying that when we have high MMR and when we have the best players kind of in their own little bubble, we'll be able to change the game in a way that's more fun for everyone involved. And I'll also add in, I feel like solely not adding MMR in because it affects 0.1% of people who play the game in a super serious way, I don't think that's a great idea. 
I don't think 99.9% .9 of people should continue to suffer just so the 0.1% don't have to have serious games every single time while they play seriously. And, and maybe maybe I'm completely off for this. Now, Scott, I know, I know you're a much more intelligent guy than me. I know if you ever do reply to this, whether it's in a video or text, you're going to rip me a new asshole and you're going to show me that I was completely wrong. Um, so uh, be gentle, please. Also, if you're, you know, just a bystander watching this, let me know your guys' thoughts in the description. One, it boosts this video in the algorithm, which I could always use. Thank you, thank you. And two, I, I genuinely would like to see your thoughts on MMR. Have you played during the previous MMR test? And how fun was it? Do you think MMR is going to be good for the game? Do you think we should not add it because of the top 1%? Or is there another reason why we shouldn't have MMR in the game? Like, let me know. Honestly, let me know. Because I would love to hear your stances on it. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, love you guys. See you in the next one.